Battery connections and wires are extremely important. If they corrode this bad, you may have a hard time getting your car started. If I cut the insulation off of this wire, you can really see the corrosion. Corrosion like this can make a reliable car unreliable. In this video, I'll show you how to cut off the bad stuff and put on the good stuff. With corrosion like this, you don't want to be out there and have this just fail on you. Now, there could be other corroded wires, not just the ones on your battery. Look at this braided grounding wire. This grounding wire connects your engine to the chassis. So all your sensors on your engine, the ground goes through this. This ground wire was completely rotted off. Here's a new braided wire. It's gotta be braided because the engine moves and this wire needs to be able to flex. Good clean connections is extremely important. And when you start to see broken and bad connections, it's worth your time to correct these. You don't want intermittent electrical problems because of stuff like this. You want clean wires without corrosion. So now that we have all the corroded stuff cut off, we can start to put everything back together fresh. With the wires nice and shiny, we'll put a rust inhibitor on it. Then we'll be able to take copper tube and crush it onto these connections. This swaging tool does a pretty good job. When it's crimped on there, you should be able to grab onto this wire and pull hard. Once the connections are strong, you can go ahead and put shrink tube over the entire unit. You wanna make sure nothing shorts out. Now you could replace the entire connection, but I'm sure it'd be a pretty penny. What you're looking for is a good, strong connection, and this will give it to you. Now there's two of these positive wires that are bound together. So once we have these two wires extended, we'll be able to combine them together. Here's the copper end that'll go directly to the battery terminal. We need to drill it out just a little bigger. Now we'll be able to hook the two wires together and then use the suasion tool to crimp it. Now we've got everything nice, fresh, and clean again. Now with all these corroded pieces out of here, we'll have those weak links out of the system. Now with fresh, clean wires in there, we can all take a sigh of relief. Well, I really appreciate your time and thanks for watching.